spike, 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 spike. All right, we went in Amsterdam, and this place is a big win. I got a hummus and avocado bowl, like nine euros so much food. I guess sat right here. Maybe. Hi Hazel. One time a girl in my elementary school class said that I would do a really good job of playing the girl because I looked old and frail and too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> We're gonna ramp bikes today, or bike more accurately, or in a tandem. Yeah, it's gonna be a scorcher today. It's calling for about 37 degrees Celsius, so. Whew. We're at the floating flower market. <laughs> with the cheese. I've tried every single well, Today we're getting our lunch the Costco way. <laughs> <laughs> cheese sample. <laughs> and mustard samples for me. <laughs> it's hot. Somehow Amsterdam, despite being the most northern of all of our cities, is the hottest. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> tandem biking. You can see by my cheeks, it's so hot. There just seems to be no shade at all. Yeah. And my body is just <laughs> overheating. I'm like, I'm like Molly's laptop, like just there's no way to get the heat out. It's just getting hot. <laughs> Loving Amsterdam. We'll get some actual action shots of us vlogging yeah, as I'm gonna, well. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to remove my hands from the handlebars even though I don't have to steer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, signing off. Okay, so I said to Molly that my bike seat was uncomfortable and she was like, this is the comfiest bike seat I've ever sat on. Yeah, look at mine and then look at hers. Like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, no, no, these are really comfy seats. Brim. I was like, I don't know, this is like, I kind of feel like I'm on a cloud right now. <laughs> and I was like, mine just really is hurting. Like, I don't know what it is. I just must be sitting on it wrong. Oh. Nope. <laughs> It's too hot. I've never felt my blood so closely resemble lava. I've never felt the world <laughs> so closely resemble lava. We stood in a grocery store. Just stood it was there. so nice and cold. The produce section sometimes sprays you a little bit. So we like that. We felt kind of weird though. Like this one was definitely eyeing us up. So we bought some apples to seem less sketchy. They were good. I never thought I'd say this. Avid biker, lover of two-wheeled, machines it's too hot to bike it's the whole city knows it like everyone's like it's so dangerous to bike in Amsterdam I there's no one else the streets are completely empty everywhere we go the streets are empty because nobody is outside braving this temperature no one is stupid enough to bike at this weather <laughs> Y'all, it's 
only 8.45, but it's hot. <laughs> Nothing has changed since last time, except we went to a film fest yesterday called Save the Waves. And it was so cool. So many like inspiring films about protecting our planet and protecting the ocean. Yeah, it was really sweet. And Josiah like, in Miss Film was um, featured there as well, which is originally how we heard about it. All in all, it was a pretty good night. Pretty Today's good night. Last day of Last day. We're going to a windmill today, so pretty excited about that. And then we're going to our sweet new Airbnb. It's a former lock bridge, and then like the tower is converted into our hotel. Yeah. It's pretty sick. So excited. We're going on a canal cruise. Date night, and then Bryn leaves at like 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So wild. I need to fix my hair. We're gonna get on the subway, and then we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Somehow, mysteriously, Bryn's chocolate ended up in her bag. It was gonna melt. Now I have to take one for the team and eat it for breakfast. <laughs> Everything smells like chocolate. Oh <laughs> so good. Everything smells like chocolate. It's so delicious. <laughs> Alrighty, get on in there. Get in there. What's that character that lives in a shoe? That smells like chocolate. The entire air around us is just filled with the cocoa factories, like, waft. Oh, so good. Chocolate's been a steadfast thing on this trip. It's like, I'd be a good way to end it, just by like completely immersed in like a full sauna of chocolate. Yeah, mother covered, covered mother. Really hot. <laughs> Good day. It's 3 p.m. Still real hot. Still getting hotter. I feel there's just like a hot fan blowing coals into my face it's a little bit. 37 degrees outside. It's good. We just checked out of our hostel and now we're heading to our last hotel. We really treated ourselves to this one, knowing it was gonna be our last night together. It's so cute. Eyes are locked on our Airbnb for tonight. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Prime location. <laughs> this is our hotel for tonight. I'm literally, like, so worth it. <laughs> so worth it. We splurged to have, like, this treat for ourselves. We really did. Day, and it's all that we hoped. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. Like, I can't even, like, working air con. This view? Are you joking? We have real pillows. Yeah. There's plugs everywhere. This is beautiful. This is, we see we stayed a night in the airport. <laughs> in Barcelona and this is really, it's making up for it. We're just gonna witness all these people kind of like biking behind us and then we're gonna go grab some food. Yay! Okay, little update. We were looking through some of the stuff. We found robes, slippers, and a hammock. Don't know where the hammock goes, but we're gonna find out obviously. <laughs> words for the vlog. This is the last last part of our uh, vlogging too. Thanks for coming on the road with us. We had a lot of fun together, made a lot of memories. I'm really excited to be in each other's lives for a really long time. Oh, Thanks for watching. All right. Bye. <laughs> it's like 5 a.m. It good. is indeed. <laughs> in the morning.
I'm on my own, folks. It's solo travel from here on out. Time to find my way to Grenoble. <laughs> oh, gosh. So that's it. <laughs> Brenda's just headed off to the airport. She took an Uber there. Um, I'm still in our Airbnb. I'm actually not heading out for another 20 minutes, um, but I'm gonna head to my bus stop soon. And then I'm off to Grenoble and she is gonna be home. It's the end of the trip for her. I still have a month to go. Um, so it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling. Uh, Cause it's the end of something amazing that I was looking forward to for so long, but also the anticipation of an exciting new adventure that I've also been looking forward to, but definitely have a lot less planned out for and don't know exactly what to expect. It's definitely sad seeing Bryn go. It's just, we've been for a month. We've been together 24 seven. Um, and so it's kind of crazy right now. It's, well, that was the trip of a lifetime. I, we literally, we planned all that out in a dorm room in January and then made it happen, which is sweet. So I have loved traveling across Europe for the last month. It's been unbelievable. It's given me so much inspiration to come back to these cities. And Bryn, thanks for traveling with me. I couldn't ask for a more amazing travel partner to just decide to do this this summer with me. I am excited for what's to come in the future, which might also be me fixing my hair because it looks terrible right now. Bye. <laughs>